In this video, we want to draw bell peppers from cubes in two different angles. To draw bell peppers or various fruits, I use a cube to get the proportions and angle of the object. In the first step to draw this bell pepper or any other fruit, we need to recognize the angle of its cube. This one needs a cube from the front angle. So I draw a hypothetical cube with a one point perspective. Then we will simplify our object and we see it as a cylinder. So we turn the cube into a cylinder like this. After that we draw the details and draw the shape of the bell pepper using the cube. I use three smaller cylinders for the top section of the bell pepper. In the end, I can refine my drawing to fix the proportions and draw my strokes better. I put my highlights here and elaborate on my drawing. I add weight to my lines to give them more depth. I put a soft layer of shadow here for the cast shadow underneath the shape. I draw cross contour lines here to convey the feeling of roundness of these parts to the viewer's eye. Now let's move on to another one with a different angle. The difference between this one and the previous one is that we need a horizontal rectangle for this bell pepper, which we need to draw a hypothetical cuboid in a two-point perspective. So recognize the suitable angle of the cube and apply all the tips I mentioned for the previous drawing on it. The steps are exactly the same. Here we find the center point of these two surfaces of the cube. Using the guidelines, we draw two circles like this. Drawing from cubes allows us to get a better understanding of the space our shape occupied. 
and it's a good guide to get better proportions of the objects. If you can draw the cubes with the correct perspective, it will be easy for you to draw all the fruits and all the objects. You just need a lot of practice. Again, I will refine my drawing to fix the proportions and I will draw my strokes better. I add weight to my lines to give them more depth. I'll draw highlights, I draw cross contour lines to convey the feeling of roundness of these columns and parts to the viewer's eyes. In the next video we'll be shading a bell pepper and I'll explain all the steps and details throughout the video. And again, I put a soft layer of shadow here for the cast shadow underneath the shape. And I guess we're done. So I'll see you for the next one.